I wanted to share a quick video of my GORUCK 3 backpack. I've got a GR1 and I've had it for a few years. Did a few events and it's fantastic. I've borrowed and tried out the GR2 a couple of times for a couple of trips and uh, it's great. The organization is awesome, but uh, it doesn't hold uh, that much more than I can fit in my GR1 26 liter uh, for me to justify the price. But as my uh, camera equipment and gear has grown, I have really struggled with what to do with uh, how to carry my gear to and from shoots. And I think I found the, uh, I think I found something that's gonna work for me. The GORUCK GR3. It's a 45 liter ruck. So today I'm here for a headshot. I'm in a gym, an apartment complex, and I've got my light stand set up. Well, getting set up. I've got a background uh, for a plain bay gray uh, business background. And then I've got my GR3 and I'll just, uh, kind of give you a quick overview of some of the pockets and features of it and um, how I'm using it for now. You got the slant pocket, it's very deep, goes all the way down. Uh, I don't put a whole lot in it, just some simple things, flat things, uh, temporarily usually, especially while traveling. Uh, compression straps and uh, what's nice about it is it's pretty much a huge GR1, which has worked out well for me. I've got the standard pocket here. I usually keep a couple of pens, things like that. Um, I haven't quite, this is brand new to me, I haven't quite figured out what to do with these two pockets. I kind of wish it was one big pocket. I really do. Um, Having these smaller pockets, it's a little bit more of a challenge, but at least it does help keep you keep things flat so it, you can shut it. Because that's a problem I had with the GR2, is you fill the front section up so much, then it, it just, I can't get it to close. So keeping things flat is key. Uh, I've just got a, like a lanyard badge in there now. Not really using those right now. I just haven't figured it out yet. In here, what I like is I've got everything I need. This is the first time I've packed this this way. I just kind of got the ruck, um, took it to a trip and um, for a three day trip. And uh, this is the first time I'm using it actually for photography. Got my Godox AD 200. Okay, right there. I've got some miscellaneous little gear and attachments in there. A um, uh, couple of things for the uh, light stand. Got my Godox um, softbox in here. Kind of pain in the ass to um, set it up. It's got a bunch of poles and stuff, uh, but now that I'm uh, I've got a place to put it. I'm gonna try and use this this bag. It's just barely big enough for it, and it seems to work. So I think it'll be worth the worth uh, keeping that bag and trying to make that work. Here, I've got a um, my camera bag. Uh, this bag was given to me by a really nice uh, a friend who wasn't using it. So what I like is I can just. Grab that and go. This is the minimum stuff I need to take pictures. I've got my my camera, my A7R3. Sorry about the uh, camera instability. Um, this is just kind of a spur of the moment thing, and I'm only using one hand. 
Got my A7R3 and my Zeiss 85 1.8 in there. In here, I've got my 24 1.4 and 135 1.8. On this side, I've got a speed light. Like I said, this is the minimum gear I need. I've got my camera, lens, and flash. Off camera flash. Back to the ruck. This is really great. It's working out for me. Uh, I've got in here strapped at the bottom is the uh, removable padded belt, which I probably won't be using very often. For now, I'm keeping it here, which is where I think it belongs. But I may take it out and just keep it somewhere else and just give myself you know, that much more space for gear if, if things are looking tight. But I'll, I'll probably keep it in there as long as I can. For now, I've just got a couple of patches in there. I saw a video, I think, Jason McCarthy put online, and I just saw other people doing that. Got a little D-ring. Like I said, I'm just kind of using this pack. One thing I do know is it's going to work. It's going to work for me. Um, it's got everything I need. It's got all the space. It's simple enough. It's durable enough, and uh, it's going to work for me. So that's it. Quick video of my GR3, how I'm using it. A little bit of uh, how I'm arranging my camera gear inside it, and uh, it may change. Uh, perhaps I'll post an update someday. Thanks for watching.